This week's NCAA Indoor Championship meet has been circled on Sprinter Dentarius Locke's calendar since last season. I really wanted it really bad, uh, but a goosebumps now uh, coming into this week. So, you know, although this season has been kind of, you know, up and down, you know, this is what I've been, you know, waiting on this whole season. Last year, Locke entered the meet as the number two overall seed in the 60 meter, but never got the chance to run because of a false start. The stakes went up, the pressure got high, and pressure bust pipes sometimes. So, uh, at the time, I wasn't really focused as hard as I should have been, which is what I've learned. So this year, uh, I learned from that, and I was show it. Dentarius is a totally different athlete than than last year at that indoor championship. That was the first season he was putting on the Florida State jersey after sitting out from his transfer year. After placing second at the 2013 NCAA Outdoor Championships in the 100 meter and making the United States World Championship team, a confident lot comes in looking for redemption. Totally different uh, sprinter, um, still an underdog. You know, there's a lot of people talking about you know what guys from different states are gonna do and what they what they've been talking about doing for the future for outdoors, indoors. So um, I still have a lot to prove. You know, I haven't done anything, obviously. So um, I got to prove it to everybody else, you know, who the number one guy is. Now he knows the process. He's taking care of business. He's not looking at that guy's jersey or this guy's jersey. He's trying to maximize what he can do, put the blinders on, throw down, a, you know, a 650 or whatever, a low 650s, and see if anybody else is good enough. And when that gun goes off this weekend, expect Locke to be at the front of the pack where he belongs, just like he's been planning for a year. Lane Hurt, Seminoles.com.